Hey, it's Miss Miklos, and for this lecture, um, I'm not actually doing a ton of problems, but I want to show you guys how we can use our graphing calculators to help us um, in finding points of intersection. So if you look at the below the 7.2 notes, um, there's a worksheet that goes along with this, and um, I would suggest practicing a few of these on your own and making sure you know how to do it. Um, but I'm going to walk through the one that is in the direction. So it says, suppose you have two functions, y equals x squared minus 2x minus 4, and y equals x. We can use the calculator to find their point of intersection. So the very first thing I'm going to do is press y equals, and I'm going to clear out anything that I have in there. And it's not going to graph anything there because I don't have any functions. Um, so I'm going to type in x squared minus 2x minus 4. And then my second function is going to be y equals x. And I'm going to press zoom 6 here just to show us a picture of what this looks like. And I can see um, there's my parabola. And here comes our linear equation and it appears as if it intersects twice once here and once here. So the way that I'm going to find the point of intersection is by pressing second trace and that gives you our calculate menu. And we've used this menu quite a bit before um, to find zeros, to find mins and maxes. And if we look, option five here says intersect. So I'm going to choose option five. And it's actually pretty easy um, to go ahead and use this. Um, it's just going to ask us a few questions. And it's going to ask, is this the first curve? So for example, if we had graphed more than two um, equations, I would need to narrow it down to the two equations that are intersecting. In this case, I just have two um, lines. So I'm going to press Enter. Yes, that is my first curve. Now notice um, it says second curve and it jumped up to the other equation so I'm going to press enter again. Now it's asking me to guess so I'm going to move my cursor over near where I think the point of intersection is and I'm going to press enter a third time and it tells me that that point of intersection is negative one negative one. So that is my first answer. Now our second answer I'm going to go through the process again and press second, trace, and choose intersect. Okay, I'm not even going to move. Um, I can see it's on the first curve, and if we look up here, it tells us which equation it's on. Um, plus, if you have the same calculator as I do here, it's color-coded, so I'm going to press enter. Now it's jumping to that second equation. I can see it says y sub 2 here, and I'm going to press enter. And now I'm going to have to move. I'm pressing the right arrow. I'm moving over to where I think that point of intersection is. So I'm close to it. I'm going to press enter, and it tells me that that point of intersection is 4, 4. Okay, so um, that is how we go about doing these. Now, a few just quick reminders on graphs. Um, remember, sometimes the values that we're trying to see aren't on our little snapshot here of the graphs. So we might have to press window and change the window. Okay, remember we can make it like the x value is bigger, the x value is smaller, y. And normally we, we tend to work more with the y values here where I want to see above the graph or below the graph. We can also zoom in or zoom out by choosing the zoom option. So often if you guys are graphing things and you are not seeing what you need to, odds are that you need to somehow adjust the way that it looks on your screen. Okay, so that's about it for using your calculator. Um, once again, I would practice a few of these and double check your answers and make sure you guys know what to do.